Hawk boots. At Maverick, we know that Maverick requires you to have a pair of boots. Every driver, doesn't matter if you're glass, TCD, or flatbed. Um, the requirement is that they have to be cover your ankle. So that means a six inch high boot. Don't buy shoes, don't buy sneakers. They need to be boots or good shoes that cover your ankle. So um, I have some examples. This is a this is a boot by Chippewa and it is their six inch high boot and it is a very traditional boot. It does not have a lot of padding. I like these boots a lot but they wore out quickly and this has a more of a softer sole and after having uh, some of these I decided that I didn't like the way they wore so um, now they're for gardening. Then I bought some boots that were basically the same thing but in slip-on and slip-on boots are very popular with a lot of the uh, Maverick drivers I know and drivers in general. They're so easy because you can take them on and off easily. Well these are like brand new and they have that same sole the last pair had but you can see they haven't been worn. I can't wear them. They uh, I need to be nimble on the truck. I felt like when I was wearing those slip-on boots that my my feet were loose in them and I didn't like that feeling when I was like stepping on and off the the deck of the truck or climbing around. You, you got to be spry. So these boots no good. <laughs> Here I have a pair of really nice boots. These are taller boots. And and these are like the 8 inch model. These are Red Wings. And you can see on the bottom I actually ground down the lugs on this Vibram sole. Because I wore them when I was uh, motorcycling. They worked very good for that. These are insulated. This is like a, a boot I could still go to out there on the truck in the wintertime. And they would keep my feet very, very warm. These are very nice boots. You can always keep those. They're, they're heavy and they're pretty big, but they're a good boot. And once again, those are Red Wings. My go-to boot for a long time was this pair of boots right here, which is the Chippewa. It's the same as the other boot over there, except it has the lugged Vibram sole. And these are now my um, grass mowing boots. I like these boots a lot, but they wear a little bit too fast for me. In other words, I found that the uppers get very, very soft. They're a good summertime boot. I like them. They are very comfortable. They come in a lot of widths. They are reasonably priced. Once again, this is the Chippewa. The Chippewa. They make a lot of different boots. These are keepers. However, I don't take them on the truck anymore. I have here a really nice pair of boots. These are Red Wings. And notice the difference is they are the six inch height. However, they have a padded collar, padded tongue, very, very nice boot. This is uh, that model, whatever that is, but uh, you know, there are so many boots you can go look at them. I love these boots. These are my wintertime boots. Notice the sole. It is a very different sole. It's a softer sole underneath and then it has a thin like clear sole over that that's very very tough so far these have held up well um, but I just bought them last winter so they aren't they haven't been worn that much the boots I'm wearing now at this moment the ones I'm gonna put on today when I leave are these and 
This is a six inch tall Red Wing. It has the double toe cap, which I really like. It has a Vibram sole. However, let me see here. The Vibram sole is not that deep. It's like a, a halfway sole. I love that. Um, it doesn't pick up gravel as bad. My truck stays cleaner. The eyelets on these Red Wings are more heavy duty than on the Chippewas. These are really nice boots. I, uh, they broke in, took longer to break in. They, uh, they fit me perfect though. They are very, very comfortable all day long. These are 14 hour day boots. Um, they work great. So that's what I'm currently wearing. I'm gonna wear these as long as the weather's warm. As soon as the weather gets cold, I'll switch over to these. And when I come home and I mow the grass, I'll wear my old Chippewas. Okay. Those are the boots I wear. But you've got to keep in mind that a lot of drivers like different boots. I have talked to Maverick drivers that love slip-on boots. That's all they wear. I can't wear them. So just be really thoughtful about when you make that choice. Also, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of drivers, they'll go to like Walmart, someplace like that, and they'll pick up a really cheap pair of boots that cost like $29. And they think they're great. They're comfortable, they're very soft, they wear out in a couple months, <laughs> whatever and then they go get a new pair. That is another option. I tend to go for the the boot that lasts longer and um, is a higher quality boot. But you pay more. You have to make your own choices there. But make sure you get yourself a good pair of boots that will let you be sure on your feet. You don't want to be tripping around and that are comfortable all day long.